and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Draven Swain. This big Noxus deck with a little bit of Demacia in there where we are going to be striking and having a lot of strikes. We got our single combats, our concerted strikes, our whirling death, lots of striking in this deck. This is the kind of, this deck honestly plays a lot better than what it kind of looks. Um, it looks kind of weird and all over the place. But it plays pretty well. I remember last time that we went 4-1 and one with it and was really happy with it, just with our only loss being to Frostbite, because um, it is hard to have single combat, Whirling Death, Concerted Strike. It's hard to do all that whenever they're Frostbiting your stuff. Uh, Radiant Guardian is going to be a big part of our deck against Aggro. And, um, but really, our, our guess, I guess our deck's built around Draven. I guess that's the card that uh, to talk about the most, because we... Draven on turn three is what we want all the time. We have the Draven's biggest fans to help us out, to help us get Draven. Because Draven is going to be producing those world, uh, those, uh, sorry, those um, spinning axes each time that it strikes. And all of those extra spinning axes can either help our units trade up, you know, like they're, they're good cards, or we get to discard them with Arena Bookie. It's such a great combo of you get free spinning axes, and then you turn your spinning axes into real cards with the Arena Bookie awesome awesome combo and that really helped us out last time so here we go let's let's go play some more games with draven swain it's something that's you know it's just a deck that's different we have cards that other people aren't using very much not many people are you know, ready for whirling deaths and things like that and then we still have you know we still have swain and we still have the the power of leviathan swain at the top end you know that's just an awesome top end combination and so we have access to that as well so we're going to be throwing our opponents off guard. Hopefully. Hopefully, at least that's the plan. Okay, Trundle Aurelian Soul. So we're going to need our Leviathan Swain at top end, most likely. Okay, I like this hand. I may get rid of the Basilisk Grider. We have a lot of Noxus cards in hand right now. Well, Elixir, Elixir of Rat's going to go. But we're going to keep these. Um, I'm worried the Basilisk Grider is going to... or Basil, Yeah, Basilisk Grider is going to miss. I think we still keep it. Because we already have a 1, 2, a 3, and now we have a 4. Because obviously we have the 3 because we have Draven. Oh no, we just drew Draven. So, well... These are all Noxus. Gives us a worse chance of hitting the Allegiance. Alright, well I guess I cannot play Arena Bookie right now, because then we would discard the Draven. And we definitely do not want to discard the Draven. Their plan's Weirding Stones, you know, sp Spinning Axe, Single Combat. No, their, their plan was Catalyst of Aeons. So I can pass and they don't get to Catalyst of Aeons, but I think it's still worth the attack. Because it's possible that that's not their card, that, that, that that's not their plan. Right on! Wow, we still hit. All Noxus. Yeah, so much ramp going on over there. Hopefully they don't have the A plus cost card. Nope, they do. Alright, taking it all down to six. The trolls are going to war. That could be good for these Leviathans later on. It's gonna be a while before we're gonna be able to play Leviathan. All right, Arena Bookie helps us get more cards. There we go. I'm gonna make a U-Sickle. <laughs> Power in my kingdom now. Smashing! 
All right, how many eight plus drops do they have? Four. So they got this one, so they got three more in hand. I guess I discard my third Leviathan. I'm sorry, third Leviathan. I don't really want to discard my second Leviathan though. Leviathan is so good. And so that's that's a problem with playing Radiant Guardian right here. Is if I play Radiant Guardian, we're actually gonna to have to discard Leviathan. Well, maybe we do. Yeah, we, we probably should. Virtue guides me. Alright, doing this um, during combat like this, so that, yeah, even if they have something like this, then we should still... Okay, no, actually, we're not going to, because... Hmm. So, yeah, now we need Whirling Death. This should work. Yep. Come out and play. Okay, got that out of here. And now we get, we get, we still get to turn the spinning axe into a real card. Obviously, they have that. So we'll have leveled up Swain, be able to start stunning things. The heavens diminish without my attention. I wish I didn't discard it. That second Leviathan. Why would they do that right now? This isn't leveled up, right? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Alright, great hand opponent. This yeah, at least Treasure Trove is slow speed. Yeah, that's true. It's just burst for Living Legends. Very good. Alright, so basically the exact same hand we just had. Love how we drew the, the Draven's Biggest Fan because we can discard Draven's Biggest Fan to Arena Bookie. Last time we didn't have anything underneath the Draven, so we couldn't play <clears throat> the Biggest Fan on turn two. I'm not attacking with the Bookie. 
yours. They gotta have another Bright Steel Protector, right? Like, that's kind of a waste of that Bright Steel Protector, so you'd think they'd have another one. I'm one of the good guys. Okay, Miss Fortune. Um I think I let them kill Draven. Letting them kill Draven does give me another spinning axe. Good for the bookie. My money, my fools, Find some removal. Nothing but Noxian there we go. We got two Demacia cards out of there so that our Missile Scrider hit with the Overwhelm. Very good. It's a very bad make it rain for me. It's the worst possible make it rain. Because I don't really mind the arena bookie being a 2-1 because I'm not blocking with that anyway. Alright, puts me down to 7. Or I can stay at 11 and block with the bookie. So Misfortune's about to level up. I'm going to have to Concerted Strike and Single Combat here and hope that they cannot break that up. We're going to go Single Combat on the stack first so that the Concerted Strike will resolve first. So the Concerted Strike would turn my Screeching Dragon into being a 5-6 before it's fighting the Misfortune so we can have a 5-6 fight so that if they have Ranger's Resolve... Doesn't save, but I guess if they have Rangers Resolve, their 5 5 probably would have stayed alive. Smell that? A fight to cook it! Honor, guide me! Every single Leviathan. While I could attack, it's a little... Like, if they have Repost... Now, Repost doesn't kill my Leviathan. What would they have to have? Oh no, that's a problem. That's a big problem. What am I at? Six? Still heart, steady aim. You take 
Mint. It doesn't really seem like the best relentless pursuit. Just like hunting thresher geese. Counter attack. Go whirling death. Go whirling death. Hope that last card's not single combat. Yay! All right. Well, the like they have they have to play the repose first anyway, right? Like if they just if they just attack, I block. Like I obviously block, and once I block, then they repost, and then I whirling death. Okay. So one and one. We've been really good at drawing Leviathans. We've drawn all of our Leviathans. Let's try a new hand. I could keep... There we go. I was going to say, I could see keeping the Bas Basilisk Rider. Time for the main event. I've, I've been saying Basilisk, but um, according to someone on, on the, the YouTube comments, I think it's Basilisk Rider. That's what they say it's pronounced. I'm sorry, Gray. I'm sorry. Okay, it's Draven time. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Definitely hope we hit this allegiance. We've been lucky so far hitting allegiance. We've only drawn one Demacia card with a concerted strike. Nice. Another time of us drawing Demacia card and then playing Basilisk Rider and then hitting Allegiance. These isles will be cleansed. No, I need a calling strike that. Yeah, play. Makes sense to attack with the biggest fan? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because they just block that. That blocks the most damage. to us, we are going to probably just go a couple culling strikes. I think I'm just in the market for getting rid of these things with culling strikes. I know a Screeching Dragon would be nice to have, but I want to get rid of this Elusive. And obviously we need to get rid of Maokai. This also makes it so they don't have a blocker. Okay, going after Basilisk Rider. Not the biggest fan. So it definitely probably means they have a one damage spell. Most likely Withering Whale. Right? Probably Withering Whale. So if that's the case, do I want to play something? Do I want to play the Screeching Dragon pre-combat? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now they could just switch it up and go Devour the Depths instead and eat the Rider with that. Yep, looks like whale. Looks like whale. Double feast. Why would you not feast first and have the feast for a blocker? That's not. We'll save that. I'm 
gonna save this spell mana, honestly. I don't feel like Draven's biggest fan is gonna be helping us out too much. We can still play it this turn. I definitely want to get Bookie in play. You know, we need to we need to start cycling through the deck. Bookie's gonna be very valuable. Where's my money, Bookie? Draven, good to uh, let's talk here. All right, we're going to spinning axe. Spinning axe. I'm going to be leveling up Draven. So Draven gets. <clears throat> oh, I guess I need to do that the other way around to get the plus one plus one on the screeching dragon, don't I? I need to. Okay, so I need to over level up Draven so Draven gets overwhelmed. That's what I'm trying to say. Level up Draven. Give Draven Overwhelm. I think the other way around would still like level up Draven. Because I think... I think, like, the... If I do it the other way around, the dragon strikes first and kills... But then Draven still strikes afterwards. That's how Concerted Strike works. It's kind of weird that, like, after you kill, you still strike again. And so it's still... Draven would still level up. All right, well, I can go I can go for it with Double Elixir of Wrath. They'd have to have, like, Vengeance or something like that. I mean, they did just pass priority to me. If they do have Vengeance, we're in a lot of trouble. Awesome. Sometimes going for it pays off. Damn, I'm good. Straight Nexus damage, that that's what makes the Nexus healing more important than what it's been before. And speaking of that, we're playing against a deck here that has just a bunch of Nexus damage and... These Radiant Guard Guardians are going to be doing a lot of Nexus healing. Now, I don't know if we can just keep a hand of, like, nothing but Radiant Guardians and have that pan out. I would like to keep two Radiant Guardians. Oh, gosh, I do not want these Elixir of Rats at all. No one's the wiser. Bookie, I need you to get rid of these Elixir of Rats and give me other stuff. What cards in Bilgewater would I like to see nerfed? Um, I would like... I would like Riptide Rex to do, like, four Cannon Barrages, not seven. I think seven is really silly. Petty Officer probably being, like, a 2-2 instead of a 3-2. A 2-2 that brings along something else. No prey, no pay. Everything's in place. Do you take payment? I don't want it! Could be a little rough. Single combat's the card that I want to draw the most. Something with Petty Officer. Maybe back to being a 3-1. I don't know, maybe a 2-2. Two -two. The good news, we hit Basilisk Rider Allegiance. The bad news, we do not have single combat next Looking turn. Trouble. It found you. Have more Leviathans. I need single combat. I need concerted strike. I'm down to three. It's probably just over. We we need we need single combat here. Did not draw very well after our mulligan. Drew lots and lots of top ends. Yep, need a concerted or need single combat. That was our spell. Ugh. Poor Mulligan. Just 
we kept Bookie and Radiant Guardian. The only other card that mattered that we played was the, the four drop. Okay, so they're going to be a... We're going to keep the Radiant Guardian again. They're probably going to be an aggressive deck. I, I think this is going to be an Undying deck. The thing is, this could be Control also. This could be like a Ledros Control deck. Could go either way. Love having the biggest fan, because that just means that we're going to have Draven on three. So love that. Uh, we'll play another biggest fan. Raven time. Mm. Should have attacked. Ugh. Getting really punished for playing that other biggest fan. So I'd rather just have it in hand and, and just discard it. Hey, kiddo. Hey, kiddo. Okay, we'll keep these two ones. They'll do a good job blocking sharks, dying, sure being good for my raiding guardian like like that. Where's my money, Bookie? Draven, good to, uh, let's talk it. I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be making an ephemeral deck like this. We're we're talking about this, I think, between the videos. That I could see um, Dark Water Scourge being better right now than what it had been in the in the past. Nice. One with just the the importance sure. of yeah. Nexus healing, as we discussed. Uh, but then two with Stalking Shadows now allowing you to find Dark uh, Dark Water Scourge more. I, I could definitely see uh, it being this? better than what it was. Triple Shark, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm hoping that we can just, you know, gain enough life and kind of beat them down with Radiant Guardians. Justice will be served. Out with the old. Let's do this. Feels like a bacon. All right, Arena Bookie, I know you're great, but sacrificing you to get another Raiding Guardian in play. So killing this here means that they would need, you know, that goes away. They don't get to keep replaying that. They're going to need another Ephemeral. Be able to bring the sharks back. That is another ephemeral. That is another ephemeral. Stay back. Should have saved Whirling Death for Death Mark. Should have just taken this. Oh, Concussive Palm. Guess that. Yeah, that stops Whirling Death. And gives them a blocker. So that's pretty good. Axes coming right up. I see Basically keeping Draven's biggest fan to kind of discard to the axe. That's what I'm kinda of doing with that card. Uh, no, the the next day, Tuesday, Tuesday is whenever they announce patches, and then it gets implemented on Wednesdays. So we'll we'll know on Tuesday, not tomorrow. Fire! Um, I think that Lee Sin's gonna get a buff. Like that's the the most likely thing is Lee Sin getting a buff. Conquest. So it looks like I'm probably going to play Draven's Biggest Fan to just play it as another blocker. 
even time. Looking to the ear. Because, yeah, they'll have their five shark chariots going across the board. Gotta rock with your name on it. I will end this here. Me going to ten. I'll just throw another one of these in here just in case. And there we go, three and two. Five Sharks is cool, but Radiant Guardian is really good. What they kind of hinted on the last balance patch update with 1-8 was like Lee Sin getting buffed, Ezreal, and Ezreal kind of getting reworked a little bit with how Ezreal levels up, and then also Yordle Grifter's Allegiance being reworked. So those are some things to kind of look into, but then, you know, we'll see what happens with the rest. I could... I could see them doing a bunch, and I could see them doing not that much. I think I think they'll probably change a good amount, honestly. I'm kind of expecting... By expecting, I mean guessing. That's a better word. I'm guessing, like, 15 to 20 cards total change. Uh, but anyway, yeah, our deck's still pretty good. Like, this is, this is a fun deck to play. It's a little different. Um, we were pretty lucky every single time that we had Basilisk Rider Allegiance. We hit... Um, and yeah, Raiding Guardian was awesome. Maybe a little less Screeching Dragon to get something else early. But, uh, you know, Radiant Guardian and Swain are, of course, amazing five drops. And if we need to trim down on the five mana slot a little bit, that would be probably where we would go. But still happy with the deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you want to see nerfed or buffed. You know, like, what, do you, what would you change? with Legends of Runeterra. Let me know in the comments. That's always fun to discuss. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some Draven Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.